Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. We are pulling Hi. up. <laughs> You're so cute. We're pulling up to Addison's two-year-old checkup appointment. It's 9.55. Her appointment's at 10.15. They called me yesterday to confirm, and they have, like, different protocol now with COVID and everything, so you have to be, like, you cannot be late or you basically, like, lose your appointment because they're like slammed with like back to school physicals and just all kinds of stuff I guess I don't know maybe she's like if you're even five minutes late yes. like we'll probably have to reschedule yes. you so I wanted to make sure I was on time so Steven took Brody to drop Brody off at my mother-in-law's because there's really no reason to bring him in here with germs and everything like that if if it's not necessary so He's gonna go hang with my mother-in-law for a bit and then Steven's gonna meet me here just cause he wanted to like come to the appointment with us. When we get in here, basically we have to go to a separate room and there's like a temperature check station and so they're gonna check our temperatures before we can go in for our appointment. Addison hasn't been here in a little while. I've kind of pushed things off a little bit because of COVID and just not wanting to come into a doctor's office if it wasn't absolutely necessary. But since it's been a little bit now, I do want her to have her two-year-old checkup. Um, and I have a couple questions for her pediatrician, so I'm actually excited to have this appointment. Let's see how cute you are. Are you saying hi? Hi, Daddy. Are you talking to Daddy on the phone? Hi, Daddy. She has her phone up to her ear, and she's like pretending to talk. So this video is gonna be a day in the life vlog. Just gonna let you guys hang out with me today, bring you guys along. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and join my community here on YouTube. I post motherhood and lifestyle content three days a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I would just love to have you here. We have lots of fun on my channel, or at least I think we do. <laughs> and I love connecting with other moms and women uh, in this community. What? You were so cute. How'd you get to be so cute? Cuz. Cuz. How'd you get to be so cute? Cuz. Wow. You have your phone? No. Someone calling you on the phone? No. Nope. Doing none of the ride of your bar? No. Nope. Yeah. We had to do a quick breakfast this morning. So Addison ate. Do you want this? No? Uh. Yes, no, maybe. No? Addison had some blueberries while I was fixing her hair and then she's been, she took a couple bites of this in the car. But. She hasn't eaten very much. Can you hold it? I can't reach you. Hold it. Mommy, bud. I can't reach you. <laughs> Can you do it? Can you do it? Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes I wonder how I get places with, especially when I have both kids, when they're like in the back seat and they're fighting and they're throwing toys and then they're screaming for the toys that they just threw and then they're dropping things and then they're handing me their water bottles and then they're asking for a snack. I'm like, I need to focus on driving, but it's not how it works with kids. They just, wow. Okay, getting my mask on. Still love these masks. They're hard to get, like, it's hard to deal with masks with a hat on because it makes your hair weird, but I love these masks. It's like the Kitsch brand. They're really, they're like breathable, they're comfortable, and they're cute. All right, I always keep it down until I get inside because he I can't breathe. Me. He got all right, let's go. Peace out, bye. Oh, okay. Are you a big girl? No. No? Yeah. Say, I'm a big girl. No. No. Yeah. She knows that means you have to take her passies. I know. I've been telling her, big girls don't use passies. Say, I'm a big girl. No. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of Addison's appointment. I'm going to read you a little paper. She is 36 inches tall, so she's in the 95 percentile for height. He said that... 
if you were to guess, he said that maybe she'll be between 5'6 and 5'8. I'm 5'3, so she's gonna like, maybe it's just cause Steven's so tall and Brody's really tall, I don't know. Then her weight, she's 27 pounds. She's been 27 pounds for so long. So she's in the 50, 50th percentile for weight. The main thing that I wanted him to look at is, so both Brody and Addison have like an Audi belly button. It's like a herniated something, I think is what it's called. And I'm like, why? Why do both my kids have that? And he's like, it's just kind of like, cause Steven and I, neither one have Audis. And it's just sort of like the way that our genetics combined and the way that they their belly buttons are and it, he did tell me with Brody when he was little no because we're about to go in a store he told me when Brody was little that it would slowly correct itself um, and by the time he was four it would be much better and that is true it looks so much better and Brody's looks way better than Addison's does so it's not anything that needs surgery or anything like that but the main thing I wanted him to look at is above her belly button like in her abdomen there is like a little area where it kind of protrudes a little bit and so I've just been watching it and she's acted totally normal but I just wanted him to like take a look and he was just saying that she basically has and this is different than Brody Brody doesn't have this but that she has um I always say this wrong but it's almost like the diastasis rec she has, I think she or something has, the thing that you she, get like she has, no we're not gonna take your shoes off the thing that you get, or that some women get after pregnancy, after having babies, um, where their abs basically separate. And he said that's just literally how her abs are. It'll continue to get better. Um, when she does get pregnant someday, her belly button will be an Audi. It'll like pop out, which mine did during pregnancy. So maybe that's why, I don't know. But anyways, it's nothing to worry about, so that's really good. It's just something I wanted him to check out. Everything is all good. My Addy girl. Oh, for Eddie girl, she did so good. She did not like him checking out her ears and her teeth and all that. Oh, the other big thing is I've got to get rid of the passies. Like, the passies have to go, and I've known this. And I've basically told you guys, like, once she turns two, she just had her birthday this week, I'm going to start beginning to limit them. Like, either just limiting it to her bed or um, setting little timers for her. Like, okay, you can have it for a minute, and then putting it away, something like that. That's what he was recommending. It's so hard because sometimes like, she just gets so vocal <laughs> and yells so much. That sometimes I'm like, okay, if you want your passy, take your passy, you know? He was like looking at her teeth. She's not just like holding it in her mouth. She really is sucking on it hard because her teeth are like definitely moving forward. So I've got to get rid of it and I know it'll be easier to do it like now rather than later, so gonna start working on that right away that's gonna be something we work on we're gonna have to say bye bye to passies earlier I told her or, I've been telling her I'm like big girls don't use passies and you're a big girl right are you a big girl are you a big girl yeah. now she says no that she's not a big girl normally she says I'm a big girl and now she says that she's not a big girl because she doesn't want me to take yeah, away bigger. her passy oh you are a big girl yeah okay good and big girls don't use passies I don't even know. I've got to figure this out. Brody didn't use a passy, so I'm going to have to sort that one out. So it's 11 o'clock. I've got a little bit of time before I need to go pick up Brody. So Addie and I are just going to run to Target. Target's like right around the corner from her doctor's office. So we're going to do that really quick and just kind of walk around, look at what they have, see if they've gotten any fall stuff. The other day, this Target, there was like nothing. So we'll see if there's anything good before we go pick up Bubba. Okay? Okay. just left Target and honestly they didn't have anything good my Target has just sucked lately um, but no, no, so I only no, got a couple things hi. Hi. let's not yell okay you can talk no. can you not yell hop down, hop down. you want to hop down yeah okay well, we're about to do that we're about to get out of the car and you can hop down <laughs> oh, gosh. Fly, please. this is why I give her a pass Fly. just yell the whole time what what? You want me to hold your foot? Okay, I'm trying to drive. Ah! Hold on, Addison. Oh. 
attachments but hold her foot. Again, how do we get places as moms? I don't know. Steven is meeting us at Chipotle. He just called me and was like, hey, can I take my girls on a lunch date to Chipotle? I was like, 100% yes, because I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. And she's only kind of like snacked on a bar, some blueberries, and the pouch I just gave her. So she may want some like chicken or something like rice, something like that. Hey. You want to go have a lunch date with daddy? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh, are you gonna hop down? Yeah. Hop down. Yeah. Go. Hi. Hi. You can do it. There you go. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Where's Dada? See Dada? Daddy. Daddy. We are home now. This is the cutest piggy bank Addison got for her birthday. And look at this. She just got it and already took her hair out. She's about to take a nap. So anyways, Brody is gonna help her put all of her money in her piggy bank. Good job. This is like some of her Easter money and just different birthday monies that she's had. And sometimes when I find loose change, I just put it in her bag and I put some in Brody's piggy bank for him. I'll link it in the description, but my in-laws got this for her and it's just like the cutest thing ever. Ooh, girl. Do you have lots of money? Oh. Oh. Okay, the kids are down for nap and quiet time. Here is what I got from Target. So I was really happy to find this. Three pack of Clorox wipes. And then, ah, these are the little pumpkins I got. These were a dollar each. And then, some baggies. And then this is like part of a gift for um, one of Brody's cousins. So anyway, that's all I got at Target. And now that all of my parties and showers are over with, I'm starting to wrap my brain around starting a pre-K curriculum with Brody. I've already kind of picked out the one that I'm gonna do, but uh, some of the things I need from Target are just some stuff that I plan to do for like our homeschool setup and just things I plan on making and supplies and all kinds of stuff. And so I'll be sharing all of those things with you here coming up in the next few weeks. Got some fall stuff coming up in the next few weeks. So lots of fun content and like valuable informative content I'm really excited about. Um, this whole like homeschool pre-K thing will be a whole new thing for me. And I'm just doing it like he was never in preschool before. So it's not be like because of COVID or something that I had to do it now i just um decided that he's four and so i feel like doing a pre-k curriculum with him will be really fun he loves to learn he's so smart so i think that will be fun and then next year he'll probably go to an actual preschool and then start kindergarten kindergarten the following year the airplane's so loud um so i'm gonna go get some editing done right now uh while the kids are having nap and quiet time and then uh, i'll check back in with you here in a bit you guys, I just plopped down on the couch. It is 9.20, so haven't vlogged in a while. I, uh, little update. So the kids woke up from their nap. We ran to a different Target. I picked up the other part of the birthday present that I needed for this weekend. Um, and I, like as we were walking out of Target, it started pouring down rain on us, then we decided to go to Steven's office and he picked up some dinner for all of us. And so we had dinner at his office with him and just like chilled and stuff. And then we were driving home and it was like almost eight o'clock cause we hung out there for a while. And then I remembered I had to drop off like the backdrop that I borrowed for Addison's party at my friend's house. Cause she's using it this weekend for her daughter's party. So I had to drop that off at her house on my way home. 
and I was trying to like vlog like different parts in the car like as we were doing stuff and you guys Addison just doesn't stop yelling like you heard it like I feel like it just creates such chaos <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to just like hear her scream like nonstop, but she like literally just she yells everything she says and I always tell you guys that but she is like so spunky and feisty and I felt like the whole way home I was like handing them french fries because they didn't eat them all at the office um, from Chick-fil-A and then handing them their water bottles and then they were handing them back and then Addison would throw her passy and then she's screaming for the passy and I'm just like again the whole theme of this vlog is as moms how do we ever get anywhere without like and and be safe like how do I let me know like if you're if you have multiple kids and you're like further along in this whole thing than me like or even if you're not and you're still in it, let me know if you have any tips. Like, I feel like I'm just doing a circus act to keep him satisfied and content and without like, to keep them from screaming the whole time. And then, you know, Brody or Addison's kicking Brody and Brody's freaking out because he, she's bugging him. And I'm just like, ah. <laughs> So um, we had like a really good afternoon, but it was just, not circumstances for filming because they were just like wild tonight I don't know why and so then by the time we got home I basically just like threw them in pajamas because it was like 8 30 Brody didn't nap today so he was tired sorry my hair is doing something weird so I just threw them in pajamas and got them in bed and then just now I've been like laying with him and he's like I have to tell him a story then he tells me a story and we pray then we have to cuddle and then he's like starts trying to tell me um, he's like let's talk about scooper trucks i don't even know what that is <laughs> but he's like mom i really want to i'm like brody like i have to go to bed i am so tired and i've been in here forever talking so um anyway <laughs> i'm tired so the back half of the vlog was like non-existent but i also feel like i vlogged a lot this morning so it'll probably be still long so Whatever. I need to go finish editing the vlog that's supposed to go up tomorrow and Steven's not home from his meeting yet. Um, he'll be home soon. So I'm gonna go finish editing that and maybe take a bath or something and then go to bed. I'm so tired and I have to wake up early for my workout. I've been so tired this week. I've, like, it's been worthless. It's terrible. So anyway, hopefully I'll get some good sleep and then feel good this weekend. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Get ready for lots of exciting stuff coming up. Homeschool content. Not that I'm like an expert, but I'm going to share with you stuff that I'm going to do for pre-K for Brody and then um, fall stuff too. Yay. So ready for fall and the holidays and just a new start to everything. 2021, here we come. <laughs>